Avery, new picker, wants to get into locks fast. And I get emails every day from you guys saying, hey, why don't you just use comb picks? Or what are comb picks used for? How do you use them? And now that I've just gotten this really cool clear lock, I can finally show you guys a little bit about comb picks. But before we do that, let's talk about the picks themselves. This is a kit from South Ord, and you'll notice that these are double-ended, and I mark mine with the number of pins. I don't know if you can see that, but I just engrave it so I can find it quickly. So this is a seven for a seven-pin lock. Now it looks like a key, except instead of grooves, these prongs stick up. And ideally, you want those prongs to go up into the, into the chambers of the lock. Well, there's a lot of different locks with different spacing, so you got a seven that looks like this, and then a seven that's a little bit different spacing with fatter prongs. Likewise, you got a couple with five. Now, these are all five, these two, but you'll notice they are quite different. So you got to kind of feel around and play with the lock to get an idea of which one is the right size. And then the last one, I've got a six, and this is the one we're going to use for the demonstration. I've got two different sizes of six pins. So let's take a look at the lock. Uh, it is a six pin lock. You can see all six. It looks like seven, but that last pin there holds the core in place. It doesn't count. And what we're going to try to do is fit the prongs in so that they go in the core, line up, and then I'm going to take the prongs and I'm going to shove not only the driver pins, but also the key pins up into the chamber. So right away you see we have two problems. First of all, this tool has to fit into the keyway, which means your keyway has to be very, very wide open, kind of like this one. If you have a paracentric or curved keyway like this one, this comb tool will not work. You won't be able to get it up in there without breaking it, and that'll be a real mess to try to clean up. So very open keyway. The second requirement to use this using this tool is that the lock designer had to be pretty stupid because he had to leave enough room in that chamber for both of those pins to fit up into. Now most designers realize that this tool exists and so they're going to make their chambers too short so that only the driver pin and maybe a little extra for the spring can fit up there. There will not normally be enough room for both the key pin and the driver pin to be shoved up there. So that's the second requirement, a stupid designer. You won't know that until you try it. So let's try it. Uh, I believe this is the right one, so let's just get it in there. Now, it won't work like a key. You kind of have to jiggle it until you get it to line up with all the chambers. I'm going to try to do this through the camera. And there we go. You know it's lined up, and it'll, it'll slide, and you'll see everything. Let me move my hand around here a little bit. You'll see everything kind of move, and you'll feel the pick move to the top of the chamber. I've disaligned it again. Get in there. There we go. Then you can feel everything move to the top of the chamber. Now, what you've done now is that you've cleared the shear line. All the pins are out of the shear line. The only thing blocking the shear line is our tool. So if we turn it and it doesn't go anywhere, that's because our tool is now blocking the shear line. So just kind of lower the tool a little bit while I'll continue to turn and what you'll get is an unlock, just like a key. So when it works, it works great. But the thing is, there aren't too many of those old, poorly designed locks with wide open keyways anymore. Most locks today know that this is a shortcoming. They engineer around it. They put a paracentric keyway, and so you don't get a chance to use these very often. So for, the, for you guys asking if this should be one of your first tools, I'd have to say no. Don't waste your money. Spend your skills, spend your time developing your picking skills, and then you'll find that you rarely pull these out of your bag. I hardly ever take these out of my bypass bag. Anyway, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.